Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing DC's Legends of Tomorrow, the season four finale called Hey World. And so we start off with the creatures are on board the time ship and then we cut to where Tabitha talks to Charlie and, you know, makes her feel belittled and she's going to basically get her to do what she wants her to do. Then we cut to where Nora is in um, the fireplace. And then we cut, and she's going to go find John. And so we find him and freeze him. And he was playing Jenga with Vandal Savage. And they were getting along great. So weird, but it was really interesting. Then we cut to where Neuron uh, transforms uh, Charlie at um so we have Nora transforms Charlie into some type of senator to go, senator guy then we have Nate and Zari are looking for little Zari and the dragon and they found it and the teacher flips out uses the app and the town bureau takes the dragon and then we cut to where Ray's at DC, and so Charlie tries to resist and tries to badmouth Ray, but then Tabitha uses her powers to transform Charlie into an octopus. That was in the 1944 episode. And so, yeah. So the legends show up, and then Tabitha versus Sarah, and um, she defeated uh, Tabitha, and I must say that fight scene was really good and got Charlie and left. Then we have Neuron talks to Astra, but it's really John. But she'll still help anyway. And so basically there's a bunch of, there's like a phenomenon happening over DC and it turns out it's fear. And basically Neuron wants the fireplace to come to Earth. I can't say the H word because apparently I got suppressed for that last video. Anyway, so, um, then we cut to Ramona and Gary, um, feed all the creatures, and so the dragon could be a beacon because it was shown on Snapchat, and it was shown as a cute, cuddly little animal. So, uh, Nate wants to do Hey World, and so Legends of Board, but unfortunately it's going to take three years for it to complete. And then we cut to where Asher or John are in the soul bank, basically, in the fireplace. And then we have Legends on um, decide to use the diary to fast track Hey World. And basically, <clears throat> once Nate does it, Zari will, um, will have her brother back and she won't be a legend. And the whole um, meta human thing won't be a thing anymore. And so um, then we cut to where Nora found Ray's coin. And, um, uh, I really jumped ahead on the gun on that. <laughs> and, like, he'll find Jingle with Savage. But it's, anyway, so it's just a tomorrow part, um, poses as Supergirl, Arrow, and Flash to, pr to promote Hey World. Because the original people said no because they didn't do the crossover and they were kind of pissed about it. <laughs> and then we cut to where Charlie sets the creatures um, straight on, you know, play your part, do good, and this could be life-changing for everybody. And just go along with it so then we cut to a north fusses out ray but then they get transported back but ray is a coin again and we cut to where john has another plan to get neuron to off nate because that was the agreement that uh ray had with neuron so if he breaks that promise then you know he can all get rid of him that way then we cut to where Nate draws in the diary, and Hey World is done, and a bunch of people show up, and it's on the news, and they're trying to stream it. And so Zarya's staying on the ship for the, because if she gets out of it, it'll be the temporal issue, and she won't exist in that, uh, in their time anymore. And so now it's showtime, and plus Zarya's monitoring and streaming worldwide to 3 billion people. So, Yeah. <laughs> And then we cut to where the monitor is there. I found out his name last night, so that was good. And um, that's been in the crossover um, earlier this season. And so the crowd is like, no, we don't buy this. This is stupid. 
And the, the, so the dragon is there, and then it starts to get more entertaining. Then we have Tabitha is there too, and so it starts another fight scene with Tabitha. And then we'll say all is lost because they're trying to evacuate everyone from the tent. And then that didn't happen because Tabitha is controlling the dragon. So they all go back inside the tent. This is all in a big top in a hay world. And so then when we'll say everything was lost, little Zari gets in front and tells the dragon to dance, which it does. And it KOs Tabitha and knocks her out. And um, also her power wand, power staff. Yeah, that's it. And um, the dragon eats her. <laughs> Then Neuron opens the portal, and then it's Neuron versus John, and he offed. Uh, so the dragon, because it was like a cute little thing, so Tabitha made it a big scary thing, but then it went back to its cute, adorable self. Anyway, so um, so it's Neuron versus John, and he offed John, but it was really Nate. So that went back on the deal. So Zari is leaving the ship. And then we cut to where John uh, finished off Neuron because of the deal. He was able to get rid of him permanently and close the portal. Then we cut to where uh, Ray is okay. And then we have Nate talking to his dad as the, I guess, their ghost. They're on top of the, um, the high rise and the mid top. And <clears throat> they start singing. Then Mick starts singing. And so that gives the cue the legends to sing because Nate doesn't sing. And so they use the staff to bring him back. They use the power of the set of love to bring him back. Then we cut to where he is back. And now is Zari's bro now. And so basically what happens is Zari was hugging Nate. And he was like, oh god, no. Why did you do that? And um, so... They, he was she he was hugging her really really tightly and then it turned to Zari's brother and then um Nate didn't remember her and none of the legends did either. And then we cut to where um Astra makes withdrawals of some people and that was the end of the episode and the end of the season. Um I gave this episode uh, a a solid A. I just can't believe they wrote off Zari so quickly so I don't know if her contract was up or she wanted out or if she'll pop up in another season as something else. I don't know. But I just thought they kind of did that kind of dirty. I was like, oh, okay. And I feel like Nate never ever gets the girl. It's always something happens to him. First it was um, Vixen. And then it was Zari. So he's just striking out left and right. <laughs> but anyway, um, I thought it was overall really good episodes. The fight scenes were incredible. Not as good as Supergirls. Because that show last night was damn good. But anyway, I thought it was overall a really good episode. And like the whole hate world and how they're trying to pick creatures are not so bad. Once you get to understand them and stuff like that. So I really like that as well. And I think overall, I would give the season a strong A. There was definitely some episodes in here. I was like, what? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> but, um, and also the whole Vandal Savage popping up in this episode was actually kind of funny too. And I, so I, I was really, that was funny. Because he, he, he said like, I'm here to torture, I was here to torture Ray. But then we had some deep conversations. We got along really, really well. And so, um, I, I really like that. That was, that was a nice callback to season one. So anyway, I really enjoyed this season. I can't wait for season five. And that's one to it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Tell your thoughts down below. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all next season. <laughs> Unless you want to keep on, um, I still am doing videos for other projects and stuff. So if you want to subscribe and follow me for all that type of stuff. If not, I'll see y'all in October. <laughs> Bye.